you guys everybody doing? Welcome to another edition of Mr. E Says. Uh, you know what? I was... I made a post right now a little while ago about uh, Broner. You know, the Broner Malinaji fight. You see that. My thoughts. But, you know, I was like, you know what? I want to talk about another fight. Another fight that was on the card. Uh, Jonathan Banks versus Seth Mitchell 2. Okay? I was expecting a lot in this fight. Uh, first fight, you know, Jonathan Banks looks like he got Seth Mitchell pretty good. Um, even in the weigh-in, like Seth Mitchell was <laughs> kind of scared of Jonathan Banks. But, you know, when that ring, once that ring started, once, once that fight started anyway, you know, crowd's booing, you know, uh, Jonathan Banks got to Seth Mitchell a few times. Then he would just disappear. And I kind of wondered to myself, why is, why is Jonathan Banks, okay, he'd fight in little spurts, but then he'd disappear. It's like he forgot he was in a box match. And then Seth Mitchell, every time Banks even laid a, 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 laid a finger on his face, he's going down, man. You know, it's kind of funny, you know, Seth Mitchell, everybody's saying, Next grade American heavyweight. I don't think so, man. You know, that guy has a chin for glass. He has a glass fucking chin. Okay? Yeah, he's a big guy. He used to be a football player. He thinks he can box. Yeah, you know, you got all these victories against a bunch of garbage men. Bro, if they're thinking about putting you against one of the Klitschko's, bro, just forget it, bro. It's career suicide. You want to keep making some money, keep fighting some garbage men, keep your little NABO, I think it's NABO title, you know, be that champion. But he isn't. And I feel kind of bad. I feel bad because, you know, I like boxing. Boxing is my favorite sport. It's my favorite combat sport anyway over MMA. I don't like MMA that much. Okay, sometimes I'll get up for the big fights. I'll watch them. You know, I'll never pay for them. watch them on the internet because I'm not an idiot. But let me tell you guys something. I feel bad for the casual fan. A fan that hasn't watched boxing in a long time. They're like, hey, you know, they heard a lot about this card, about Pauli Malnagy and Boner. They're like, hey, you know what? I'm going to watch this card tonight because I heard it's really good. So they put it on the television and they're into the second fight watching these two bulls of the clowns fight, okay? It's sad, man, it's sad. No wonder people are staying away from boxing and they're giving more props to MMA. Boxing is still a great sport, it's still a great, you know, it's a sweet science, man. But it's sad when you turn on the television and you watch two guys that look like clowns in the ring. Okay, you got Mitchell, who gets hit and falls on the ground, running. Jonathan Banks looks like he has no idea that he's ever been in a boxing ring before, okay? Yeah, you know, Jonathan Banks... Do me a favor. Do everybody a favor. Never fight on television again. Better yet, bro, don't fight at all. Okay? You had no business being in that ring. Okay? You got no heart. You knew what you had to do because you're a trainer. You're a fucking trainer for Vladimir Klitschko. But yet, when you're in the ring, you couldn't do what you knew you needed to do. Okay? And then you got Seth Mitchell, next great American heavyweight. No, no way, man. No way. I cannot wait till you see Seth Mitchell take on one of the Klitschko's and get knocked the fuck out like in about a minute or two. Either one will do. There's a lot of great heavyweights that could beat Seth Mitchell right now. Okay? Seth Mitchell is not the answer to the puzzle in the American heavyweights. He's not. Sad to say. But that's all I got, guys. You know, uh, hey, you know what? Uh, again, if you watch that fight and you're just a casual fan, I'm sorry, man. Boxing is a lot better than that. Don't let that fight guide you and saying, hey, you know, I'm going to start watching some MMA because fuck boxing, bro. You know, I watched this fight with these, these two guys. Don't let it happen, guys, because there's a lot still in boxing that boxing has to offer to the fan. Okay? That's all I got, guys. Peace.